Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Come on, do it, do it. I'm just gonna cut through the bullshit on this one and get right down to business because I have some shit to say. A lot of the conversation around this movie, not surprisingly, seems to be focused on whether or not it's woke or not. And you have people from every side saying, is it this, is it that, is it woke, is it not woke? Fuck all that, this isn't about a culture war for me anymore. Because no matter what I say or what anyone else says, someone is going to have a problem with it. Or they're going to have a problem with my thumbnail or my title. The bottom line for me and what I want, what I've always wanted, is for movies to be great again. That's the goal here, and I don't give a fuck if the lead in this movie is male, female, black, white, or purple. Just tell a good fucking story and nobody would give a shit. But damn right, that's the only way I work, Cap. Yeah. But modern Hollywood doesn't do that anymore. So I'm seeing all these overwhelmingly positive reactions to this movie. And honestly, I was intrigued because at the end of the day, what I really want is another good Predator movie. So I sat down to watch Prey and I waited and I waited and I waited some more and I tried to soak it all in. Again, I was waiting for something groundbreaking to happen based on all these reactions, but that moment never really came. In fact, by the end of the movie, I had very similar feelings about Prey that I had about all the other Predator sequels, prequels, and reboots. And yes, there's been a lot of them. Something very familiar about all this. I don't think I can stress this enough, and I'll say this until I'm blue in the face, but I strongly believe that Predator was supposed to be a one movie franchise. Because every single movie that's come out after the 1987 original has added absolutely nothing to its legacy. I understand there's a lot of people out there who are in favor of Predator 2. And that would be the one sequel that I would probably give a pass to. But the truth is, is that they nailed this idea to perfection on that very first try. But Hollywood is going to Hollywood, and the shills are going to shill. So now everyone is saying that Prey is exactly what the Predator franchise needed. And that it's a back-to-basics approach that returns the franchise to its former glory. To me, Prey is not a return to form. It's the same shit we've been dealing with for the past 30 years. Nothing is different here. Why do these things always happen to me? It is yet another lackluster attempt to recapture the magic. Only in 2022 will people celebrate mediocrity and pound their chest over a movie that wasn't even deemed good enough for a theatrical release. This movie is Hulu content. It is not cinema. And that has nothing to do with the female lead or the Native American representation or any other reason you want to use to deflect criticism. That's racist. And it has everything to do with Hollywood not understanding what made the first Predator movie so successful. And not understanding why that movie has stood the test of time, and is, in my eyes, the greatest action movie ever made. The concept of a Predator facing off against Native Americans or indigenous people is very appealing to me. And I said so in my trailer reaction, even though a lot of people chose to ignore that. The reason I found it to be interesting is that I could see them drawing parallels between those two cultures, while also covering their contrasting views on hunting. You see, predators hunt for sport, while indigenous people hunted to survive. Plus, they could tap into Native American legends, and have an encounter with the predator that would be an extension of that. Instead, what we ended up getting just felt very hollow to me. It was all one big setup so this female hunter could prove that she belongs. Okay, great, she can hunt, she proved her entire tribe wrong, now what? Is this supposed to be a compelling story for me? Yes, queen! I saw people comparing her character to Ellen fucking Ripley. You know the iconic character from Alien, where we got to see her entire story play out over a three movie span? Yes, this character had one movie and already she's at Ellen Ripley status. And to be clear to the sensitive crowd, this has nothing to do with the actress who is playing her. I actually feel like she has a lot of potential as a future star. This is more of a reflection on the script that she was reading from. Put some effort into it! Which reminds me, are modern writers incapable of writing dialogue that sounds appropriate or authentic to a specific time period? This happens all the time when it feels like 2022 actors are just being themselves in these period pieces, and they really aren't being coached into being authentic for the time. And this is not unique to Prey, by the way. This happens in a lot of modern movies. I'm inclined to blame the creative team and just not doing enough research, or not caring enough to make it authentic. It just always feels so off to me, and yet I hear no nobody talking about it. I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. 
Next on my list is the Predator itself. I did not care for the Predator's design this time out. It felt very basic to me, and it felt like it was specifically designed so the Predator would fit in with this indigenous story. The whole appeal of Predator for me is a fish out of water scenario. He's highly advanced, he stands out in the environment when he's not cloaked, of course. He's very clearly not of this world, yet for some reason it looked like this Predator, based on his design, looked like he was camping out in the woods for a few years. There's something out there waiting for us, and it ain't no man. We've also gotten into this space with the Predator, where people are just satisfied with the Predator doing Predator shit. Stabbing people, shooting people, ripping people's spines out. But again, originally there was a bit more to it than that. The first film had a slow burn build up to the Predator's appearance. And when you finally do see it, it felt more important. It felt like you earned it as an audience after watching something in the jungle stalk these soldiers for a good portion of the film. And it was all done practically, by the way. I like it a lot. Now we got CGI Predator showing up right away, cutting people's heads off and killing CGI wildlife. And apparently that's enough to entertain people. What happened to the more cerebral tone of the original? Long gone in favor of flash moments that are designed to keep people with short attention spans interested. In reality, they're watching on Hulu and probably on their phone and aren't really paying attention anyway. Whatever it is that you're offering, we're not into it. Don't care. Couldn't care less. But yeah, apparently this is the highest rated Predator movie on the garbage tier website that is Rotten Tomatoes. More on that in a future video. I don't know why, because based on what I've seen, there is nothing special about this movie cinematically. It's certainly not the worst Predator movie, but it damn sure isn't the best one either. The Predator is more than just kills to me. It's more than just putting it in a different location or a different time period. Predator was originally a simple concept executed at the highest level through suspense action, and memorable characters, which all helped to sell the audience on the concept. You son of a bitch. Making a cheap streaming service version of that is not going to do it for me. In reality, I had zero reaction to this movie overall, and you're listening to someone who is Native American himself and recognizes the untapped potential in telling indigenous people stories. But apparently, Disney thought it was enough to just give us a Comanche dub over of this movie, and then everyone was going to pat them on the back. Which is pretty much exactly what is happening. Great, what about the story? What about the characters? What about the Predator itself? That's what I care about. That's what's going to make or break a movie like this for me. This movie is already one of the most overhyped and overrated movies I think I've seen in recent memory. And that has everything to do, I believe, with standards being at an all-time low and the content reflecting that. That's why I'm going to be giving Prey the careless Sam Gerard. I don't care! Y'all be cool. Shut up.